Coronavirus, unfortunately, looks set to be with us for some time, despite our best efforts at things such as basic hygiene and social distancing. Lots of people are still likely going to be affected over the next few months and years. That being the case, are there some things that you can do to dramatically improve your chances of successfully beating off COVID? The answer is quite obviously yes. While there are never any guarantees with preventing illness, we all hear stories about that really fit, healthy person that got badly affected, there are still things that you can do to tilt the balance in your favour. Health, like a lot of things in life, is simply a numbers game. Here are five things that you can do to help boost your immune system and hopefully fight off COVID. As Hippocrates, the father of medicine, said 2,500 years ago, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Focus on a few broad goals, such as lowering saturated fats, processed foods, red meats, and also sugars. But most of all, ramp up your fruit and vegetable intake. You've heard the mantra, five a day. Keep that in your mind. Five a day, five a day, have I had my five a day? That's five combined servings of vegetables and fruits every single day. Obviously, certain fruits and vegetables are better than others, but focus on the ones high in vitamin C and antioxidants. Certain superstars include blueberries, apples, dark green leafy vegetables, broccoli, red peppers, and also citrus fruits. Do this every single day for a year and the benefits to your health cannot be overstated. Number two, exercise. Minimum recommendations for exercise are for 75 minutes of vigorous intensity activity every week. That would be something like running or playing a sport and or 150 minutes, that's two and a half hours of moderate intensity activity, which would be something like gardening or playing golf. Remember, these are just minimum recommendations. The more you can do, the better. In addition, you should do at least two sessions of muscle strengthening activities every week. That could be using weights, it could be using exercise bands, or even just body weight exercises. If your gym is closed right now, there are numerous home workout possibilities available. You can just go online. Studies are increasingly showing the benefits of exercise for successfully fending off COVID infection. Number three, maintain a healthy body mass index less than 25. Your body mass index or BMI can easily be calculated. You can go online anytime, plug in the numbers and get your BMI. A BMI greater than 25 is classed as overweight. There are some exceptions to this, including individuals who have a lot of muscle mass. A BMI greater than 30 is classed as obese. Research is increasingly showing that a disproportionate number of patients who get very sick and end up on the ICU because of COVID are overweight or obese. This is unfortunately bad news in the United States because statistics here do show that 70% of the population is overweight or obese. Number four, work on stress management. There are so many everyday things to get stressed about. It could be a home situation or even a work issue, especially now when the economy is in trouble. Our adrenaline and cortisol levels shoot up. We have the fight or flight response. We start to feel stressed and on edge. And the basis of any stress management technique is how do we get those hormones back down to a good baseline? Because we know having chronically elevated stress hormones is very bad for our long-term health. It's bad for our cardiovascular health and also bad for our immune system. We all probably know from times in our life when we've been stressed about how we are very prone to picking up illnesses. So whatever you can do to help with stress levels, try out say a new hobby to take your mind away from things, try out meditation or even coming back to exercise again, which is a great natural stress reliever and has been proven many times. Do those things to help improve any stress in your life. Along the same lines, so much of our everyday well-being is based on our social interactions. So even though you are in isolation right now, focus on all those positive relationships with family and friends and continue to reach out to people. Number five, positive outlook. Is your glass half empty or half full? This is sometimes difficult to maintain during an unprecedented national crisis, but research does confirm the tremendous health benefits of trying to maintain a positive outlook. Think about this if you need some perspective. Up until the turn of the last century, the year 1900, 
average life expectancy hovered around 20 to 40 in most countries in the world. The simplest of infections could kill you. There was no anesthesia for any surgery. Many mothers used to die during childbirth. There was no electricity, central heating, and the concept of being on the other side of the world in several hours seemed the stuff of fantasy. You are living in a world which your historical ancestors could only dream of. This is a bad time, yes, but it will pass. In the meantime, count your blessings. So those are just five things that are in our control that we can do to help make our bodies stronger, boost our immune system and give ourselves the best possible chance of beating off COVID infection or indeed any other infection or illness.